So everyone, we're in the in the network operations center here. That's why it's a bit colder because we're deep underground. It may look like we're on the ground floor, but really we're in this the basement where we're supporting all of these QSIS rooms. Okay, we're here with Matthias, who's our amazing engineer that keeps this show on the road, and he is controlling the whole show through the QSIS Reflect dashboard. Okay, this is all powered by Reflect. Now I want to reiterate that sometimes when you do this with, with AV systems and you try and make them available remotely, it involves a lot of extra complexity. It involves adding maybe additional hardware, certainly additional programming to get something which isn't quite the same as really being there. But with Reflect, because that's an intrinsic part of QSIS and it's just built into every QSIS system, all you need to do is basically have a single internet connection to your QSIS core and the entire QSIS system becomes available for you remotely not just for monitoring, but also for management and even remote control and deployment, okay? Let's have a look at this dashboard. We've got a lot of sites here, okay? Different sites, different areas. Um, some of these are in the US, some of these are over here, okay? It's like a global view of everything we're doing. If you're an end user, this could be your different buildings where you have AV around the world. But if you are a service partner, maybe you're offering service to your customers, this could be your different customers. You can see how everything's going. And you can see that each of these has QSIS systems in. Some of them are okay, some of them are in a fault, so you can see what's going on. Matthias, can you jump into the ISC site? Okay, now obviously we're at ISC 2025, so you could think, oh, well, we're not really doing this remotely, but we really are. We're actually connected through the cloud right now, even on trade show internet. It's working really, really great. Now we've got these four sites, okay? We've got the lobby, we've got the vision suite, and that is the rooms that we have on this tour, okay? Let's go into the lobby, Matthias. And everybody, this is now exactly what you would see if you were locally connected to that system. It's really no different, even though we're connecting remotely. This gives us an overview of everything that's going on. And if we scroll down, we can see all of the different parts of that system, the other QSIS products, the third party devices, you can see that we've got displays and touchscreens and subwoofers and cameras and everything that makes up that room. And at the top there, we can see there is a loudspeaker that should be connected and it's currently missing. And all of this doesn't need any extra work to, to implement. But it's not just about monitoring the system and seeing what's going on. We also wanna be able to take action and make changes to the system from anywhere. Let's have a look at this camera. Can you bring this up on the big screen, Matthias, the cameras? We're just cycling through the different rooms on the tour here, okay? We're gonna go back to the lobby here, and I wanna control something there. Can we have a look at that lamp in the corner? Wonderful. So this lamp is actually connected to a GUD Expert Power Control Smart PDU. They're one of our technology partners, and with that, we can control it, okay? So let's go back to Reflect here, and let's go over to user control interfaces. Now on the user control interfaces section, we can actually see every UCI that we have in that room. Now you remember there was lots of touch screens in that room for signing in and checking in. They're all here. We're not gonna worry about those. We're gonna go to lobby environmentals. And this is a user interface that controls the lighting, the air, the temperature, things like that, okay? Remember that you can make a UCI for anything you want. So if you wanna control something very specific, or control a whole load of things, audio, video control, you can do all of that through here. We're just gonna go ahead and turn this desk lamp off. Simple as that, okay? And you see how fast that is, even though we're doing this through the cloud, all right? Now, with Reflect, it's not just about even control, it's also about data. Can we bring this dashboard over here? So the whole of Reflect, your whole Reflect organization has a single API that you can use, an open API, that can get any data from any of your QSIS systems globally and surface that for you so you can use that and take action. So here we've used that to build this very nice dashboard and we're looking at things that are happening at the show. That's what we want to know about. So we can see, for example, that we had five people check in in that room over there at the first room. We can also see the average ratings for the rooms. Lots of good reviews for the classroom. Thanks very much, guys, appreciate that. Um, we're also, of course, keeping track of all of the check-ins throughout the whole show. So obviously this is what we care about being here at ISC, but I want you to think about what kind of spaces do you have where maybe you've got data, maybe you've got interesting user interactions that are currently going unseen that would actually really help you develop those spaces and improve the experience for your end users. Now, quickly going back to the monitoring, you know we pressed help desk in the other room and then Matthias came running in, saving the day. 
That is because he's also got Teams open and he's got Outlook open. Now, you're not always gonna be signed in to Reflect, but through that Reflect dashboard, you can actually configure the system to alert you in a number of different ways. So here we can post into your Teams AV support channel. It can almost be like a, like a little agent that's there saying, hey, did you know that that speaker got unplugged? Or did you know that that person is feeling really cold in that room? That comes up here and then we can just click view and we can take action on that. And of course, we'll get emails for that as well. In addition, you can post using generic webhooks and uh, you can actually post into Slack channels, things like that, however you really want to get notified. Now, going back to this dashboard, just very quickly, also notice there's a couple of other things here. Workspace usage, snack preference. We haven't really seen that yet, but we're gonna find out about all of that in, oh. New help desk request. Oh, we've got a new help desk request. What's going on? We can see it on the screen there. We can see training cold on our dashboard. And I think we might've just had, yes, a new Teams notification, okay? So can you go and fix that? Okay, quick, let's sort that out. He's got a scarf. Good news, your help desk technician is on the way. Gone, Matthias, save the day. Wonderful, okay, so Matthias is gonna do that because he's been notified through Reflect about everything that's going on in the system here at ISC. 